You finally made it. The trip of a lifetime. Wild nature, lush scenery, and exotic animals galore. It's all good, as long as things go as expected. But in a matter of seconds, everything goes wrong. You're suddenly left alone in the Amazon. What do you do? Here's how to survive being lost in the Amazon. You are surrounded by the Amazon Basin. The largest rainforest on Earth, sprawling across nine countries, is 6.9 million square kilometers of harsh, unfamiliar ecosystem. It's overwhelming, and you have nothing but your wits. What's waiting behind this lush green jungle? Dehydration, hunger, heat stroke, sunburn, mosquitoes carrying yellow fever, dengue and malaria waiting to suck your lifeblood. Then there are the animals. The black caiman, bullet ant, the poisonous dart frog, the most venomous spider found anywhere, the Brazilian wandering spider, also known as the banana spider, some of the world's deadliest snakes, the green anaconda, the boa constrictor, and the South American rattlesnake. And lurking in the waters, piranha, and the most dangerous shark on Earth, the Amazon River bull shark. You are terrifyingly vulnerable in this strange land, and you know it. So what's the first thing you should do? How can you protect yourself? And how can you get out? Step one, use the stop method. First things first, stop, think, observe, plan. The next choices you make could either save your life or end it. So stay calm, take a breath, and get your bearings. This is where you decide to stay put and wait for help or find your way back. If you abandon your initial point A location, leave a note telling when you left and what direction you're heading. If available, take anything you can that will help you survive. Maybe a compass, a water filter, a lighter, a knife, something to cover your face, or a mosquito net. Step two, mark your trail. Break certain branches or drop something distinctive every so often. This will assist the rescue team in tracking you and also ensure that you're not walking aimlessly in circles. Walk downstream of any water you find since this could lead you to a river and give you a better chance of being found. If you can't find water, look for animal trails, the sound of birds or swarms of insects. Following their movements can help guide you to a water source. Step three, find water. Water is the single most crucial thing that will help keep you alive. Humans can last for up to two months without food, but only a few days without water. Dehydration symptoms can occur within an hour in humid conditions. If you don't have a proper water filter or you can't boil water, avoid drinking from streams and stagnant water. The last thing you need right now is to get sick from bacteria and parasites. Look for freshwater alternatives such as droplets on leaves in the early morning. Specific plants like bamboo stalks and tree trunks will also collect water for you to stay hydrated. Step four, find food. Forget about trying to hunt for animals. This will expend too much vital energy. Avoid anything that doesn't look familiar. Stick to citrus fruits and vegetables such as squash and cucumber, which are in abundant supply. So are coconuts, peanuts, and cashews to maintain your strength. Step five, find shelter. You'll need to shield yourself from the environment, especially at night. If you can't find a covering, create one using jungle leaves. Try and stay on higher ground in an open space to avoid falling trees and branches. To protect from mosquitoes, rub sap from the eucalyptus or camphor trees on yourself and try to sleep with a fire 
to ward off any bugs or curious predators. Step six, protect yourself from the elements. The Amazon is full of creepy crawlies with over two and a half million species to keep you company. More than 50% are thought to live in the dense canopy and bugs are attracted to dark colors. So stay low and expose lighter colors, which can also help you spot nasty critters. Walk carefully and use a stick to test the ground in front of you to make sure you don't encounter anything skulking beneath the mud. Avoid using your hands to touch things. Instead, a machete is a useful tool to help clear your path. And don't get your feet wet. If your shoes aren't waterproof, wrap your feet in plastic. Too much exposure to moisture will leave you open to bacterial infections and fungus. Also, protect yourself from the sun. Wear as much clothing as possible to protect your skin. And if you don't have sun protection, cover your skin with mud. Step seven, signal for help. By far, your best chance to survive is to build a signal fire. If that's not doable, leave an SOS for any planes passing by. Go big and bold using tree branches, leaves, clothes, or rocks. Carve a huge message in the sand, and if you spot a plane, use a mirror or anything reflective to shine sunlight towards it because it may be a search party attempting to find your distress signal. However, if you can start a fire, be aware that Amazonian trees are very flammable, especially in Brazil. Fires have been the leading cause of deforestation, so try and find an open clearing. No need to be trapped in the middle of a raging forest fire to top it all off. But don't worry, we've got ways to help you get out of that alive too. It's all here on How to Survive. <laughs>